As opportunity gaps widen throughout the country, here in Jersey City, we've been working diligently over the past eight years to close these gaps that disproportionately affect urban areas and minority populations most by expanding access to critical services and resources for all of our diverse residents. In September, we started construction on a new 60,000 square foot homeless services facility located along Grove Street, utilizing St. Lucie's established success as the foundation to build a brighter, more prosperous future for those in need. This dynamic, human-centered project includes affordable housing solutions and support services for individuals and families who are homeless. Additionally, the city's first ever inclusionary zoning ordinance mandates affordable housing and expands access for our neediest residents. We did this by working with community partners and our Department of Housing, Economic Development and Commerce, led by Director Anicia Cialone. Hi, I'm Anicia Cialone, the Director of Housing, Economic Development and Commerce. We undertook the long overdue update of our master plan, including the land use plan, the open space, recreation and community facilities plan. Thanks to your input, we have a strong vision for the future. Some of the recommendations included citywide sustainability, promoting diversified economy, prioritizing socially vulnerable communities, and establishing 15-minute neighborhoods by strengthening access to essential services within a neighborhood course, among others. The master plan was recently adopted. However, this is just the beginning. We are starting to work with communities throughout the city to roll out the recommendations. We recently revised our inclusionary zoning ordinance and it was adopted by City Council. The ordinance requires affordable housing in the amount of 10 to 15 percent of total units within new construction citywide that is receiving the benefits of either additional units or square footage. The ordinance uses best practices of creating mixed income developments throughout the city. We've worked to attract investment and development away from the waterfront. That includes Bayfront, where we are in the early phases of building out the infrastructure that includes water, sewer, and streets. All of that sets the stage for the first phase of buildings that we anticipate to begin construction next year. We continue to see a lot of interest in development in Journal Square, where we're bringing back the business district to its former glory as an economic engine for the city. We also have many other projects underway throughout the city, and we look forward to continuing to work with you, our residents and community partners. Today, we continue to build on the promise I made to you eight years ago when I first took office, and that was to attract interest and development away from the waterfront and help realize Jersey City's full potential in each of our neighborhoods. Our investments are already paying off. For those of us who call Jersey City home, the revival of Journal Square to its former glory as a business, arts, and shopping hub is already noticeable, and the monumental work we're doing now will be remembered fondly as a historic turning point for our city. In June, our Central Pompidou announcement reached over 1 billion people worldwide, putting Jersey City and New Jersey on the global stage with a spotlight on our success as we redefine the arts and culture landscape. Jersey City will host highlights of Europe's largest art collection and will provide unprecedented exposure to its arts and culture of Jersey City school children and residents. Just think, we will soon be able to engage with historic masterpieces right here in our hometown. The restoration of the iconic Lowe's Theater is also an integral part of our long-term vision to stimulate economic vitality in the city and enhance quality of life. Construction is underway to maximize the historic landmark's potential with major infrastructure improvements. Lowe's will return as the premier theater venue of this size in the area and will compete with New York City venues, attracting big talent and regional audiences while also setting the stage for aspiring local performers. Jersey City is home to an unparalleled arts community, and after years of fighting for critical funding, we've reached a major milestone with the first in a series of grants to support artists, art organizations, and educational programming. One year after you voted in overwhelming support to implement the state's first municipal arts and culture trust fund, we are now accepting applications for nearly $1 million in grants to provide meaningful support to help local artists throughout Jersey City grow and thrive. Jersey City's Arts and Culture Trust Fund quadruples the amount of funding that all of Hudson County receives in total from the state every year. We're taking it a step further by requiring all grant recipients to provide free public benefits through art with meaningful improvements to ensure all residents can participate in the arts, especially our impressionable youth. 